Here's a look at this ergonomic office chair. Is it worth buying? I'll show you a quick video of me using it. I bought it for my second office. I've got a few chairs now and I'm going to show you exactly how it does, if it's worth picking up, all the good bits and the bad bits and it's actually not a bad option. It's a budget price. So you get a good price on it. It's got its extra little lumbar support there and it's got the tilt adjustment and the height adjustment. It swivels nicely. It feels like a good cushion. I like the little mounting in the cushion and the armrests go up and down. There is limited movement on this because remember it's a budget option. It's not one of the luxury chairs. So you're going to get your up and down. You get your 360 swivel. You've got your head rest restraint up and down and the lumbar support. Um, the armrests themselves don't slide forwards and backwards so keep that in mind it's got a mesh back so if you're gonna have a, a few hours in the chair you won't get very hot because you'd have air passing through it feels like a nice construction i'll show you a little overview of me putting it together so you can see how long it took um, i was able to put it together myself in about 45 minutes uh, this little option here i'm not sure about this because it's actually adjustable and you just lock it into position so maybe that needs a different thing the box here you can see that's how big the box is and it comes to you so you can handle it yourself and when you get a delivery you're expecting to get that everything came packaged nicely I was able to take it apart and put it together the only thing I would uh, note on it is the armrests there's a certain way that you need to put them on I put them on the wrong way around first then I had to unscrew them and screw them back together again all the little bits come in a pre-packed box and the nuts are labeled nicely there wasn't anything else apart from the uh, armrests that you want to keep an eye on but so far they give you gloves in there as well to put it on but the gloves get a bit hot after a while so you put your feet uh, rollers on the bottom and everything else kind of falls into place if you follow the guide overall i'm happy with it would it be a good purchase i think for the price it's definitely a good purchase and you can use it comfortably on a craft desk uh, office desk gaming chair all of those things it will work nicely for you and again the price is a good option because it's in between all the luxury and lower budget options so it's a good overround uh, option height adjustability wise i'm five foot eight and about 90 kilograms weight wise and chair was comfortable for me if you're a bit bigger or a bit wider then i don't think this is a good chair because there's a limitation of how wide you can sit in there uh, the actual seating area uh, you can see putting it together i rested it on the sofa and then just put the whole thing upside down on the adjustable uh, base so there is something to keep an eye on overall it does feel like a nice option when the, it's all put together it is a heavy chair and the back uh, head restraint maybe needs a bit of work because that's uh, a bit floppy but it does give you support so in summary is it a good option i think it is for the price definitely worth picking up i don't think you'll be disappointed pick up yours today